cities have been found to warm at an alarming rate. That's when they're compared to their more rural counterparts. It's due to the materials that we use in the building of developed settings. Like concrete, you see, absorbs heat more readily than other organic materials. One solution is to plant more trees. And I can't help but wonder how a tree might feel about being planted in this modern environment. Well, according to Lynn Meng at the University of California, urban trees actually grow differently, as she explained to Werner Fasinen based on research published in PNAS. Trees start to grow leaves and turn green six days earlier in cities compared to in rural areas. This six-day difference is caused by warmer urban temperature. Artificial light acts as an extended day length. Basically, we have a longer growing season in cities. So what was the motivation for you to study this effect on trees? I got interested in studying tree greening because of a personal experience when I saw cherry blossom back in 2015 in Beijing. The forecast says the, the peak blossom time was 10 days early that year. And the night before I planned to visit the Central Park to see this early blossom, a snow came unexpectedly. And what I saw the next day was an almost complete loss of those emerging blossoms, dead flowers all over the ground. That moment inspires me to think how warming environment with great fluctuation affect tree greening. Well, that's both a very sad story about the flowers, but very inspiring <laughs> how I got you involved in this. How did you actually go about doing this study? We can use satellite to observe when plants turn green in spring across the whole globe. For example, in the East Coast, I'm looking at New York City, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. And did you find large variations between particular cities or was the trend consistent across them all? I found most cities show this earlier spring greening in cities. But for most northeast and northern cities, urban green up is less sensitive to temperature change. For those coastal or cities in the dry region, urban greening is more sensitive to temperature change than rural greening. This is because trees in northern city is mainly regulated by temperature change, but trees in southern city is more response to water condition changes. So is it this heat island effect that's causing this? Could you explain a bit more how does this occur? Urban heat island effect is a phenomenon that describes that urban temperature is warmer than surrounding rural temperatures. In my study cities, I found the temperature difference is 1.3 degrees Celsius, but it could be up to 3 degrees. This effect is caused by changes in a surface layer. In natural ecosystem, we have forest, we have grassland, but in cities, we have this impervious surface like buildings, parking lot. They represent very different physical properties. They will store more heat. So is this a good or a bad thing? There are both pros and cons. For example, we have a longer growing season. This may increase the risk of spring frost for plants. And the changes in the growing season could also affect the timing and the severity of pollen season, higher risk of pollen allergies for humans. There are good sides though. If we have a longer growing season, trees would absorb more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They have cooling effects on microclimate that can help mitigate the urban heat island effect. Trees shade buildings and improve air qualities. So it's an open question to see whether the changing phenology is a net gain or loss. 